considering one of the big things with this newest version of Flash is they, that they've had they have ever fancier code hinting and code introspection, and uh, I might have to restart this in, in a little bit. But um, you can get hints at times for uh, the code that's going to come next, and uh, that is right up here at this uh, show code hinting, and it should also be coming up automatically. But like I said, for some reason it's not happening for me. You might have been seeing it happening um, on your own though. Okay, next up uh, we're going to write moon tween and then add event listener and later on in this tutorial I'm gonna have a, an examples file and a, a video just a little bit more dedicated to um, event listeners or listeners in general but um, you, you kinda can't write much code for long without them uh, showing up somewhere but uh, I just wanna say that we're gonna have a kinda a dedicated one later they do tend to um, kinda all look the same though uh, or at least in the format where basically you've got a um, a variable or an object here in the beginning and then you write add event listener and um, you're kind of specifying um, what what uh, what type of event is going on right here and then uh, what uh, what's going to be happening um, that we want to listen out for so in this case it's uh, the the motion getting done or the motion finishing right here and then finally uh, your your last uh, part of this is uh, our parameter is uh, the function that uh, we're gonna enact when we've caught something that we're listening out for and I've just given this function name <laughs> something generic like do something okay and um, we don't actually we haven't actually written that function yet so let's dive down here and we're gonna write function do something and then inside of here we will write event and then colon tween event uh, finish off your parentheses void we can write void right here because we're not returning anything uh, from that function actually it, it auto gave me my uh, closing brackets right there uh, this is something that we can talk about later but uh, just kind of almost forget about it for right now you don't want to confuse confuse yourself but um, that is what it means is that we're not returning anything from it but um, one thing to kind of note here with um, these few lines of code is that uh, and you'll see this later on during the lesson is that uh, this is repeated right here okay so uh, generally if you write event colon uh, the next uh, parameter we're going to be putting in here is whatever uh, type of event we were looking for in this in our first event, add event listener uh, line so it's just kind of a nice little uh, mental shortcut I guess anyway uh, what we could put in here is, is virtually anything okay um, it's, a function is, is uh, just this chunk of code that is kind of lying in wait it's uh, it's the lion behind the brush that's waiting to pounce onto something it's not gonna get run um, automatically whereas uh, all these other lines of code that we had before actually including this one uh, automatically got run okay but this function is waiting for something to happen and, and again in this case it's this event listener so if we want we can just write trace um, and we can just write done inside of here and you'll notice that when we publish this file uh, let's see oh there it is the output window uh, wrote done I guess that's not a good example because let's see let's move this out of the way okay now there it is all right so as soon as you get it, it finishes over there and um, again you're gonna see uh, the use of functions again and again throughout uh, this tutorial and your life as a programmer um, you know it's just one of those key things uh, so get used to um, playing around with them right now and of course you can even have functions inside of functions and so on like that and there'll be some scoping issues that we get to talk about a little bit later on um, a function kinda has in some ways it has kind of its own little world unto itself okay uh, but um, let me not confuse you too much now. Let's just go ahead and keep writing a little bit more code. Uh, I'm going to write my alpha. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm looking at my notes, which actually have a different tween name. Uh, I'm going to write moon tween and then yo yo. You might even be able to guess what that does prior to publishing. So the object gets up to the top and then it yo-yos um, back down again. So whatever your object was doing, uh, in this case, again, we're just playing around with the Y property, it's going to just repeat 
over and over again. So it's gonna go from the um, the starting property to the final property and then, and then back again. And that doesn't have to always be something that has to do with the Y. You know, it could be the, a rotation or it could be a scale, uh, whatever. Uh, let's take a quick look at some of the um, other things that you can do with these uh, w with a uh, motion tween like that. And I just took a, a quick screen grab of um, I just typed these all out. Uh, we we just looked at motion finish, but you've also got motion change, loop, uh, resume, start, and stop. And um, one thing I just kind of disappointingly noticed about um, this version of Flash is that you used to be able to, to kind of uh, double click on a, well, one of your greenlit things over here. And I go over here to Flash Help, and it would take you automatically to a, um, a subject or a, the, the, a section of the, uh, the help document, uh, usually specifically about um, whatever that uh, was and it's kind of being slow right now but let me show you i'm going to switch back over here to um, flash cs4 and i've already got that some code that just pasted in here just to demonstrate this so again i'm using flash cs4 right now and actually uh, previous versions of flash worked as well so if you um, click flash help and the help documents would show up over here and if you scroll down here you would start to see a lot of the uh, kind of helpful things that um, you can you know play around with and again here's those things I just showed you once before motion change finish loop resume start and stop and they give you a, a quick little brief on um, how to use those guys so um, I don't want to go through and kind of make examples for each one of these things but um, you know motion start is, is something we could easily throw in there right now just to see you know trace out something that, that when it started but um, there's also some uh, methods that we can use on um, that variable uh, like starting and stopping the um, uh, the motion tween we already looked at um, yo-yo right here uh, I'm trying to think there's, a, there's kind of some interesting ones uh, well let's just um, I guess we could just stop it real fast let's go over here and uh, switch back uh, let's see Actually, I'd, I would assume if we immediately stopped the tween in the beginning, uh, nothing would happen at all. Okay, so yeah, it just uh, doesn't do anything. Let me come down here and write start, which would hopefully begin it again after we immediately stopped. Yeah, so that um, is working. Uh, just keep in mind if you do decide to um, listen out for multiple things, you're gonna then select this whole chunk of code. Okay, dive down here again. Let's say we're gonna listen out for motion start. All right, uh, we need to rename both of our functions here. Okay, so we could just add on a number here and do something too. All right, do something too. And then let's just uh, use a trace event. So we'll just say um, motion has begun again. So let's publish this out. And it might not do it for the first time. Oh yeah, it didn't. But um, you can see in the output window now. Every time uh, this uh, the motion restarts, it's just giving us that same uh, message again right there. So again, those uh, those help documents that at times they are uh, invaluable. I guess if you are if you are using uh, Flash CS5 now, um, I don't know if we ever did get our uh, help window open. Where did it go to? What's the question? Maybe it's lingering somewhere in the background. Oh, uh, no, that's the window that we had before. Uh, well, like I said, I, it might be about time for a, a restart to see if I can freshen things up a bit here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and that does uh, that did seem to help me out uh, quite a bit there. So let's say I pasted out this line. Um, I could hit um, Control Spacebar, and ah, oh, there we go, code hints. And of course, the other option is to uh, just be typing and go the slow way up over here to um, show code hint. All right, but uh, let's close that out, and I want to change this 600 to stage dot stage height okay which um when i initially publish here is it's going to be virtually no different because our stage height is um still at 600